a commercial resupply mission to the space station, preparing to make a delivery to the moon, and monitoring our changing Earth from space. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On January 30th, a Northrop Grumman Cygnus cargo spacecraft launched to the International Space Station atop a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Two days later, the Cygnus, loaded with 8,200 pounds of scientific investigations and cargo, safely arrived at the station. This is Northrop Grumman's 20th commercial resupply services mission to the space station for NASA. NASA partner Intuitive Machines will use the company's Nova C lunar lander to carry a variety of NASA science and technology demonstrations to the moon's South Pole region for the benefit of all. The IM-1 mission, which is part of our CLIPS initiative and Artemis campaign, is targeted for launch from our Kennedy Space Center during a multi-day launch window, which opens no earlier than mid-February. The NISAR Earth Observing Satellite Mission is a joint effort between NASA and the Indian Space Research Organization that will deepen our understanding of deforestation, shrinking glaciers and sea ice loss, natural hazards, climate change, and other global vital signs. The satellite's advanced radar system will monitor motions of the planet's surface down to fractions of an inch, along with changes in other characteristics. NISAR is expected to launch from India in early 2024. NASA's 2024 spinoff publication features many commercialized technologies that use NASA research and development expertise to impact everyday lives. From squishy robots that can be sent into dangerous situations before first responders, to aircraft routing technology that enables increased fuel efficiency and smoother flights, to medical technologies for diagnosing illnesses like the coronavirus, hepatitis, and cancer. Learn more at spinoff.nasa.gov. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more about what else we're up to, check out nasa.gov.